the goddess. Hello. As you requested, I am going to uh, do a brief summary on the um, interpolation or how to interpolate from a table whenever you don't find the exact value. The example um, I'm going to discuss is a case in which the pressure is 2 megapascals and the enthalpy is 2988.1 kilojoules per kilogram. And the question is, what is the temperature in degrees Celsius? Whenever I look at the tables, here I have the superheated water table. And I have here a pressure of 2 megapascals. And I am looking for an enthalpy of 2988. And this is the column for enthalpy. And what I see is that the enthalpy that I'm looking is between those two values, which correspond to a temperature between 250 and 300 degrees Celsius. So here is a more detailed um, table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little table here of temperature versus enthalpy and the temperature, so I don't have to repeat it in degrees Celsius. And the enthalpy is in kilojoules per kilogram. So what I found from the table is that at 250 degrees Celsius, I have an enthalpy equal to 2903.3, so it's this value here. I don't know what is the temperature that I'm looking for. I'll just call it T. And, but I know that the enthalpy is 2988.1. And then I know that at 300 degrees Celsius, the enthalpy is 3024.2, which is this value here. So I'm looking at this value here. For the interpolation, what I'm going to look for is the differences um, between temperature and enthalpy. So I'm going to look at this difference here and at this difference and this difference is here. So this difference is, I don't know, this delta, I don't know, I'm going to call it y. And the difference between 300 and 250 is 50. The difference between 2988 and 2903 is 84.8. And the difference between 3024 and 2903 is 110.9. So what I'm going to do is do a ratio or a relationship that the difference between point the first two values of temperature, which is y is to 50, the way that 84.8 is to 120.9. From this, I will solve for y. So y would be equal to 50 times 84.8 divided by 120.9. So this here is 35.07. So this is a difference, and this is in degrees Celsius. So when I look at 250 and 300, it's increasing. So this 35 should be added to the 250. So 250 plus 35.07 is equals to 
0.07 degrees Celsius. So this is the actual temperature, and that's the answer to this problem. A couple of things that I want to mention is that in this case, I'm adding because it goes increasing from 250 to 300. But if it was decreasing, then you would subtract it. The enthalpy as well goes in increasing. So this relationship is based on one very important assumption. And the assumption is that there is a linear relationship between the enthalpy and the temperature. And this happens only in small intervals. So let's say that I have here temperature and I have here the value for enthalpy. And of course, the number is in kilojoules per kilogram. And this is in degrees Celsius. So what I found was that I had uh, the enthalpy at 250 and at 300. So what I found was that at 250, and this is not to scale, the enthalpy was 2903.3. So this is one point. And then at um, 300 degrees Celsius was 3024.2. So this is sort of like a linear relationship. And the enthalpy that I had was 2988.1. And then I know that this has to be somewhere between 250 and 300 degrees Celsius. So that's the presumption that because it's a linear relationship, these differences here are proportional. And this difference. Some people do this interpolation by just having, finding the equation for this. It's a linear expression. But it's not worth it to find that if you only are looking for one value. If you were looking for more than one, then you would do. Now, we want to find the two values that are closest because sometimes the relationship is not linear. It's just that whenever you have small differences in x, then you can assume that that relationship is linear. And then we do that interpolation based on that assumption. I hope that this helped. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you for getting to this point.